What's good, everybody? It's Big Game James, and I'm back in the building, man. And today, we're going to look at Conor McGovern, my guy, the guy I've been touting since he came on the scene when he got drafted in 2019. Made his first career start at left guard um, in place of Connor Williams. Connor Williams a, is having a career year. Just gave up 13 penalties. So they said, you know what, we're going to make the change because we don't want to have those penalties on the, you know, big penalties on the opposing field, game changers. We'll see. I just think it's a situation where they want to look at McGovern as the future and they want to see it now. But guess what? The Chiefs said, you got Steele, who's a baby at left tackle, Connor McGovern playing left guard we're gonna attack you and to me that's what they did and let's watch a little bit of this tape i don't think conor mcgovern got whipped but i ain't the offensive lineman guru so watch with me there you go right here chris jones now chris jones he was he was giving him some business uh when he got that sack i saw what he was doing but you, you can see right here held up pretty well um right there it was a lot of drops man but right here Going up the middle, see right here. Coming around again, right there with uh, um, Beatus on the double team. Does good right there. That was an overthrow, Dak. I told y'all about Dak. He's been missing on those overthrows, but that's a good little run block for Ezekiel Elliott to get some running room. You can see right here, driving. Tony Pollard gets a nice run. You see him right here. It looked like Dak was just getting the ball out very quick. Didn't look like he was comfortable in that pocket. But when I'm watching this right here so far in this first half, mm -hmm. I don't see where McGovern was getting killed. Let's see it right here. Chris Jones. Now, Chris Jones is good. Who ain't going to have problems with Chris Jones, dog? He's an all pro. He is huge. He's a monster. And what they were doing, I noticed that they started stunting quite a bit in that second half. You saw McGovern lost a little bit of weight, but they started stunting in that second half. Chris Jones started going over top of him, and why wouldn't you? This is his first start at left guard. He's the more natural right guard. That's what he played all last year. He had nine starts last year, gave up three sacks. You just keep watching 66 as he's going right here. He had This is only his 11th career start, missed his whole rookie season. Came in week five, uh, as you can see right here. Came in week five, and... In that Arizona game, he gave up a sack in his first game. Great block right there. Gave up a sack in his first game. Had a hurry um, and a couple pressures. Came up in this game. One sack, two hurries, three pressures. But, like I said, Terrence Steele, you see that pressure right there? If I'm saying he's never worked with a Tyron Smith, no hate on Terrence Steele, but Terrence Steele still a young pup. That was a good block right there on both of those guys. But they was attacking them too, on, especially with them stunts on that side because those guys were fresh. Another drop. Times where Cowboys could have had drives. Another drop. You know what I mean? Like, I look at that. That's a good drive blocked by McGovern. Nobody doubted his power. His athletic ability was maybe a little shaky. You see right here on the quick screen. But when uh, Chris Jones got that sack, we'll show it. He pulls his arm, pulls him into him. He got him a little off balance. And then boom. But it looks like Dallas was just throwing this little short passing game all game. It was getting me frustrated. But when I'm watching McGovern right here, there's another hole he opened. I don't think McGovern played crazy bad. Like, hey, McGovern was getting whooped every play. You should have never made that switch. Uh, 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 Connor Williams would have played better. I don't know about that. Him going against Chris Jones, look at that power. Now, that that's that's power, man. Dog, Chris Jones would have did that to uh, Connor Williams, look. He would have did that power with anybody. You see him coming after him. He was coming up under him. That dude is a beast, dog. You start in your first game at left guard and never played it in your whole, I mean, whole NFL career. Now you starting against a Chris Jones or Frank Clark. You know, you got guys coming after you. It's coming with these stunts. They knew what they were doing. Uh, but I thought McGovern held up. I thought he played pretty well. Look right here. You can't really just bull him back in the, uh, that was a, Bad pass by Dak, but you can't just bull him back in, into the backfield every single play. I like his power. I think he's going to get better. I don't think we need to have this knee-jerk reaction like, oh, Connor McGovern played terrible, so let's they should have never made that switch. Connor Williams in his first year, as you can see right here, got a good little block on Jones. Connor Williams in his first year as a rookie, 
he gave up five sacks his rookie year. Uh, Connor McGovern, his rookie year in nine starts, he gave up three sacks. Yes, he started this game and gave up a sack, but let him get his feet up on him. He was a right guard, and I think he's still a better right guard, just like Terrence Steele is a better right tackle. Both of these guys are playing on the sides that they're probably not the best at, so they got to get acclimated. But if you let this kid right here, you let him play, he'll be okay. And here's the thing. If he ends up being terrible, you can always go back to Connor Williams. But right here, I think that this is a move. If you stay with this kid and let him continue to grow, he'll be okay in this position. You put him in a tough spot going against a very good front in the Kansas City Chiefs. They may not have the greatest linebackers, okay secondary, but they got a damn good front. And they knew what they were doing. They know who to attack. They knew that you got a Terrence Steele, you don't have a Tyron Smith, and you got a young, uh, that was a quick move right there, but that was a, a screenplay once again. Good good lead blocked by uh, McGovern. Well, I think this is where you're going to see this sack coming up here in a little bit. But Jones, when McGovern puts his left arm out, he grabs his left arm, pulls it to him, and pulls him and gets him off balance, and that's how he got that sack. That's a veteran move. Connor McGovern will learn, you know what I mean? I'm not an expert as far as, uh, you know, the bases and things of that nature, but I know you got to stay low, get them hands out. But when you get them hands out right there, you saw that play. You'll see it again, rewind it. Watch him when he sticks his arm out, grabs it, pulls it, comes up underneath him. He got him off balance and he got the sack. That's a veteran move. Connor, Connor McGovern will get better. See, he saw that and saw it again. But see, Terrence Steele's getting that pressure on the side. So when you look back at it, the Chiefs knew what they were doing. But Connor McGovern is going to get better. Don't hate on him. Let him grow. This is a good choice. He will be good in the end. Connor McGovern, I like you. Get better. Let's get these Raiders. Peace.